Manchester United head to Southampton on Wednesday night, the penultimate Premier League game of the season. We've only got Crystal Palace left at Old Trafford on the final day. But heading into this game, Man United are in dire form. Right now, Man United are playing our Premier League games like they are a bunch of testimonial friendlies. You look at the Arsenal game and the Spurs game following that Swansea draw at home. Three performances where Man United have been lacklustre, just to put it politely. That Spurs performance, we bent over and gave the game to them before the first whistle was even blown. The same happened at Arsenal. And will the same happen at Southampton? I'm not sure. But I'll be honest, I'm expecting a similarly downbeat performance against Southampton and Crystal Palace in the last game of the season. It really is the worst build-up you can ever imagine to a European Cup final. As for Southampton, again, this is a game which doesn't really mean too much to them. They won against Middlesbrough 2-1 in their last match, but in the five games prior to that, they had three defeats. And they're sitting in ninth place right now, can't finish any higher than eighth. The season's really done for Southampton, just as it is for Manchester United in the Premier League. So you've got two teams who can't really do anything. So I expect it to be a really dull game. Of course, we played Southampton twice already this year. We beat them 2-0 at Old Trafford earlier in the season, thanks to two goals from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And he followed that up with another two goals against Southampton in the League Cup final. A performance where I felt Southampton, they could arguably have deserved to win that game. It was a good performance by them, but Man United ultimately came up with the goals and the goods when it mattered. We'll of course be without Zlatan Ibrahimovic, so the goals can't come from him. They're going to have to come from Marcus Rashford, who really is Man United's focal point in attack. But will he even start the game? We'll give our starting 11 prediction just as we always do, so make sure you check that out in the separate video. But as for the prediction for the game itself, as I said, I'm not expecting much. To the point where my prediction for this game is a nil-nil. I think Jose Mourinho is not going to play Rashford, he's not going to play Herrera, he's not going to play Martial, his Blinds are obviously going to be rested. These games are purely from Mourinho's perspective. All he cares about is no injuries and getting minutes under the belts of certain individual players just to see if they are ready to go into that team for the Europa League final. He doesn't care whether they win, draw or lose. For him, it's just about the injuries and the minutes. For me, I can't get my head around that concept because it doesn't matter who plays on that pitch, all 11 players that are playing in that United shirt should want to win that game, should want to trounce the opposition. But what we've seen against Arsenal and Spurs is just some limp performances and the wrong sort of attitude from the players, which may or may not be coming down from the manager himself. But what is your prediction and how are you feeling going into this Southampton game? For me, it's not going to be a pretty performance. If Manchester United win, happy days. I don't think that the players are really going to go for it. And that's why my prediction is a nil-nil draw. As I said, let me know what your predictions are in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.